What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again. It's another episode of the Celebrity Jump. Tariq Nasheed is trying to build this Hidden Colors Museum. And I've talked about that on this channel. He's also uh, started a movement which is very similar to the ADOS thing, Foundational Black Americans. And him and Yvette Carnell make the same uh, case that many foreign blacks um, have some sort of hostility against African Americans. Not all or anything like that, but just some. Okay, and in, in, in that foreign blacks um, should be separate amongst the population count so that African Americans can gain the things that they're supposed to have, while foreign blacks should get things that they should supposed to have. They should not get the same things that African Americans fought for in America. They should be able to get things as citizens, but they shouldn't be count, let's say, for in the blacks, you know, count for like, you know, medical school or, or, or Harvard. They shouldn't be able to benefit off of our struggles and they shouldn't get reparations. We need to have a class all to ourselves. And um, I mean, I've as a Pan-African person, I, I, I don't have a problem with that. Um, I do believe that there's a, a lot of animosity towards the, the African community that shouldn't be there. But um, but I, I, I agree with that nonetheless, that, uh, you know, that that, you know, African-Americans have what they should be getting and then others should have what they should be getting. If they should get reparations, they should get them from, you know, their own respective countries. But I am a Pan-African person. Um, you guys know me. I'm always in you know, Uganda. Um, in fact, a person probably from Uganda is editing this right now. And there's another person um, called Renee X, and she has repatriated to Tanzania. She has a YouTube channel called Exodus House. She's a Jamaican American lady that um, decided to up and move to Tanzania with her uh, small daughter, and she's taken um, a house that was in you know terrible condition, and she has uh, really built a marvelous uh, sort of home that pretty much gives expats. Uh, coming from anywhere, if you want to relocate to Tanzania, you can, all right? And you, you can use her home uh, for a small fee. Now, there's been some complaints, um, and obviously I know that I've been in Uganda. I don't really like dealing with, um, you know, a lot of our brothers and sisters over in Africa for many reasons. I won't name them here. But she made a live stream called Are Some African Americans Beyond Repair? Okay. And I, I, I will give her credit for saying some, okay? But in the in the uh, description, she writes this. Dating music! I am tired of pretending that this experience working with African Americans has been good for me. I am tired of putting out my best and getting the worst of black people. I am tired of helping only to be abused by African Americans. I am tired and I'm disgusted and discouraged. So, she has had some bad experiences, which... I definitely know it can happen in the black community, so do I. But, you know, the thing that I want to talk about is this whole staying on cold thing. All right? If I was a person that was in Tanzania, and I was saying that I had a bad experience with Jamaican Americans, or I was in Jamaica, I'm having a, lot of, uh, um, a bad experience with Jamaican Americans, Jamaicans are going to check me. They're not going to let us, let them talk about my our, our people. They won't let me talk about them like that. This is not going to happen. All right? And, and the problem that I have with this is that I've seen this sister on her platform. She asks for cash apps. She asks for donations. Many times, those are the same people who you're talking about right now, helping build your platform. Okay. You were just interviewed by Traveling Sister, um, and Traveling Sister is definitely an African American, all right, that promoted your, um, you know, Tanzania's only repatriation house, the Exodus Africa. So that's an African American that she's talking about. 
And but furthermore, how do you even get to America as a Jamaican American? Now, don't get me wrong. You had uh, some Caribbeans in America, uh, even in the civil rights movement, but it was not a lot. African-Americans are responsible for why you was even an American citizen in the first place. See, when we have these conversations, we don't want to talk about that. But African-Americans have opened the door for every other black group in America. Every group. Like if you even want to talk about, you know, people talk about Rihanna's a billionaire. Well, how, how did she get, what, what community was the first one that really put her on? We'll talk about Nicki Minaj. I mean, I mean, what community port? It wasn't, I mean, do you want to be honest? She would never gotten rich and should have that. It was the culture of African-Americans that get a lot of these people that's not from the African-American community on. And of course you have problems with, I have problems with African-Americans in Africa. But what I will say is what Jamaicans will say. You cannot talk about our people like that. You can't. Not you. I don't care if it sounds divisive. You can't. And I have a lot of respect for people in our uh, Pan-African community, the Jamaicans and what they have contributed to the Pan-African uh, uh, movement. You know, people like Marcus Garvey, who I don't always agree with, but, you know, with the reggae. I love Jamaica. I love Trinidad. But you will not insult our people like that. I can do it, but not you. And see, once we do that, because, see, we got to see, because if I was having problems with um, people in certain communities, I would say we have certain brothers and sisters out here and we would automatically guess that it was some. But to target a whole ethnic group. No, I'm not going to let you do that. Especially when your people have benefited off of the the, the hard uh, blood, sweats and tears of that. And see, it brings it all back. Certainly when Tariq Nasheed talks about FBA and AD and, and, and Yvette Cornell versus other people. That's how we get here. We have to learn in the Pan-African community and in the black community that we need to stop trying to phrase certain things like those Jamaicans over there are those Nigerians over there are those. Over there. No, because it's offensive to certain people. That's how division gets started. There are going to be a lot of great African-Americans and they're going to be some bad ones. It's some cool Ugandans. And trust me, when I was in Uganda, I had tons of problems. Tons. OK, some that will not be talked about right now. But how dare I speak on those people? As good as those people have been to me, how dare I? I'll talk about it in private if I know you. But how dare I? Insult a group of people who all of them not like that. I wouldn't even use the term. You, you, you. No, no, I can't because I can't disrespect the people like that. But you want to come for the whole, you, you African-American, you want to come for us? When, when it's time for you to get donations? And, and you talking about, you know, you're a single mom and you having all these problems. Like, this is what I'm talking about with some of these people that are struggle streamers. Um, whose fault is it that you're a single mom out there, boo? That's your fault. Where's the husband at? Where's the, see, you, you already was messing up before you even got there. That's your fault. Like a lot of this loser stuff that they be having in the repack community that some of you brothers should be doing, y'all had already have set to, been set to fail before you even show up. You've already ruined your life before you showed up. Now it's other folks' fault. It's Tanzanians' fault or African Americans' fault or whoever's fault. No, you're in that situation with a young child because you didn't make the right decisions and you went over there by yourself, and now you want somebody to be a sympathizer for you when you're over your struggle streaming and begging. So don't blame it on us for your mistakes. And, 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 and I see African Americans in the comments, you gonna let her insult, insult our people like that? I don't care how true it is. You don't talk about our people. You can talk about your own people, but you don't talk about us. All right, you get that? So guys, it's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe at the bell, check out the first comment at the top, check out the Black Man t-shirts. And as you know, the buffoonery makes it an all-time high.